Hi everyone, it's Martin Root with Project Heaven on Earth. And Kelly Redman with Heart Centered Productions. And we are in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island, Canada. Imagine a political jurisdiction where all four political party leaders speak about what Heaven on Earth is for them, for the world, and for Prince Edward Island. Imagine no longer. All right, hello everybody, Martin Root with Project Heaven on Earth, and I'm here today in Prince Edward Island with the leader of the New Democratic Party, Joe Byrne, and I'm going to present him with my new book, Project Heaven on Earth. Joe, a thank pleasure. You. Well, welcome, Martin. And thank welcome you. Welcome to our home, and thank you so much for Thank this you book. so much. It's lovely. What place for you represents Heaven on Earth on PEI? This place, Martin, our, our home. We've, we've lived here for 25 years. Uh, the home has an interesting story because the uh, the it was it was a whole process of buying a home when we were unemployed because of the generosity of of uh, some friends. One person was teaching my wife English, and the other we worked together on the island peace committee on some vigils during the first Gulf War, and they decided they wanted to help us out, and we ended up in downtown Charlottetown in this lovely treed lot. And it's uh, it's inspiring when I when I come here. It's uh, the home has a history in it in and of itself, but it also has our history in it now too, Love buried it. in the walls. Recall a time when you experienced heaven on earth. In 1992, I was living and working in Dominican Republic as a missionary with the Diocese of Charlottetown, and we were involved in a project with uh, with community organizations and churches from across Canada who were visiting Dominican Republic to have an experience from. What it mean, what it meant to be living in a marginalized situation in the Dominican Republic, meeting with groups and communities and visiting, and they were there at the same time that the Latin American bishops were meeting in Santo Domingo. At the time, right through Latin America, there was this historical consciousness of recognizing the the good things that happened, but also the times that were that uh, that didn't work for people, the the, the genocide, the exclusion the economic system that kept, that kept so many people poor. And the, the preferential option for the poor was, was essential to that whole discussion. And there was a celebration on, uh, in downtown Santo Domingo in the shadow of the statue of Bartolome de las Casas. And Las Casas is a seminal historic figure for liberation through Latin America. He lived in the 16th century and he was the and he lived in Santo Domingo and he also lived in Chiapas in Mexico and he was the voice for the people who were being oppressed the indigenous people the the blacks who were taken as slaves recognizing that we can't treat each other like that and in the shadow of that of the of, of Las Casas there was a celebration of reconciliation a reconciliation for 500 years mm. of history and the uh, the, and the complications of all that, the, the, the sin that, that we're living in, the, the results of the, of the poverty, the exclusion, but also the fact that we can heal. And we don't heal just as individuals, of course as individual healing, but we also do that as a community. And in this case, the community was Latin America. It was a great, great celebration. Second question, imagine you have a magic wand and with it you can have heaven on earth. What is that for you? For me, it's justice. Justice in uh, that, that we have a capacity, not for in independence, but for interdependence, where the interdependence allows us to fulfill our dreams, to be able to live with hope, to be able to, to, have, to surround ourselves with, with love, to have some security, and to know that the, the, the relationships that we have, the system that we, that we create for ourselves, is just for everybody, not for, and when I say everybody, that, that's a radical inclusion. It has to be everybody. When it excludes anybody, then we still have work to do. Clear. Same question in a different way. Here's a magic wand. You can have heaven on earth for Prince Edward Island. What is that? It, it, it's, a, it's an extension or probably pinpointing that, that, same, that same sense of justice here that uh, when we talk about the, when we, when we talk about our society, we, like I see our society 
as one expression of the history of the universe for our times right now. And as, as the universe unfolds around us, we do what we can do to, to make sure that, that that sense of justice, that commitment to justice, justice lives. So on PEI, that means addressing the, envir the uh, economic inequalities, the in environmental inequalities. We need to recognize that the universe, the earth, our, our waters, our, our air, our soil, they have rights. And so we, we need to make sure that that part of us lives. And then our, our, uh, our social situation, that we, that we continue to look for ways to bring ourselves together and not draw us apart. Very clear. And fi final question, in the next 24 hours, what will you do to move that forward? Well, I'm, what I try and do, Martin, is get up in the morning and think, when am I going to do that every 24 hours? My job is to listen to people. And in, uh, in our world, in our province, in our, in our city, and in, in, uh, in the neighborhood where I live, there are people that, that uh, have those struggles, that have those ideas, that have that creativity. And my job is to go and nurture that spirit. Because when we nurture the spirit of each other, there's absolutely nothing that's going to stop us from creating that world of justice. Thank you for being a heaven maker and for contributing to have uh, Prince Edward Island really be Canada's first heaven on earth province. It's well, an honor to be with you. Let thank me you. say thank you for, for this idea. It's a really great idea and, and, I, and I love the spirit in this. Like this is, we have to understand that heaven on earth is absolutely possible. This is not something that is going to happen at some point unless we create it ourselves. Thank you, Joe. Thanks. Hi everybody, Martin Root, Project Heaven on Earth with Peter Bevan Baker, the leader of the Green Party of Prince Edward Island, Canada. Peter, I want to first of all present you with my new book, Project Heaven on Earth. How lovely, thank you. Thank you so much, Martin. I look, I look forward to delving into it. But a question, first of all. I'll just hold that while you answer. Sure. Is there a place on PEI that's Heaven on Earth for you? Uh, well, there, there are many, but there's one particularly special place, and that would be uh, Hampton Beach. Uh, I live in Hampton, have done since I moved to Prince Edward Island, and it holds so many special memories for me. But if I were to encapsulate one of them, it would be a time when, before we moved here, actually, when my family was here on vacation, it was one of those glorious summer days that we get here on the island, and all of the kids were there racing hermit crabs, building sand castles, putting seaweed in each other's hair. And Anne and I were, were sitting there watching with joy of, you know, at our kids having a great time. Reading a book, it was peaceful, it was unhurried, it was joyful, it was just a, yeah, it was heaven. Call a time when you experienced heaven on earth. What was going on? Hmm. Oh my gosh, well, I mean, I, I can think of so many and, and those sort of transient fleeting moments of uh, when things are sublime and everything feels right with the world. Um, for me, it's a, it's a state of mind. It's, uh, it's something that happens to me uh, when I am with the people I adore most in a place that I love. And something meaningful is happening, and sometimes that could be making music with my friends. Sometimes it's being on the beach with my kids. So many, so many times I, I, I have stopped myself and, and sort of said, cherish this moment, mm. uh, um, remember this, and, and how special it is, and how lucky you are t to be alive. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, countless, Martin, but they all have those, when I think about it, they, they all have those elements of being with people I adore in a, in a place that I love, doing something that, that is meaningful to me. Very clear. Imagine you have a magic wand, and with it you can have heaven on earth. Mm. What's heaven on earth for you? Hmm. Uh, I would have to say that for me it is connection. It's understanding that no matter how blissful I may be, if I know that those around me uh, 
are struggling or in pain, then I, I find it difficult to be wholly and entirely content. So it's a recognition that your happiness is not disconnected to that of those around you and, and the world in, in which we live. And so heaven on earth for me is, an, is a growing awareness of those connections that exist between us as, as human beings and also between us and the rest of creation on which we all depend. Um, and as humanity matures, and I believe we are maturing despite the fact that we're lurching through all sorts of problems, we always have done and we currently are doing so. I do believe that there is a, a spreading and a growing awareness of those connections and, and it's my hope that we will be able to foster those deep connections that exist between us all uh, before we do irreparable damage to both our species and, and the planet on which we depend. Further question with the yeah. same magic wand. Yeah. Here's the same magic wand and with it you can have heaven on earth for Prince Edward Island. Mm -hmm. What's heaven on earth for Prince Edward Island? <laughs> In many respects, I, I believe Prince Edward Island to be heaven on earth right now. But with that magic wand, I would try to create... Oh, no, I can do it, right? It's a magic it's a wand. Magic wand. I can, that's right. I, I, would, I would create a place where... And, and sort of moving on from, from my personal idea of what heaven on earth could be to a collective uh, version of that that we can create here on Prince Edward Island a model for the rest of the world on what sustainable living looks like. I think we have everything that we need here. We, if you look back at the history of Prince Edward Island and the traditions of islanders and those values that are embedded in this place, uh, neighborliness, looking after your friend, um, taking care of each other, the connection to the land, which is so strong here, uh, you know, all of our traditional primary industries, uh, farming and fishing and forestry, um, are all intimately connected with the land. So we understand that in a, in a deep sense that so much of the world no longer does. So th those are all aspects, I believe, of, of creating a place here, a special, unique place here, which could be a beacon for the rest of the world. It is about a place where people will think about development and progress and success not in material terms but in the sense that we are becoming wiser more complete more loving kinder human beings and i absolutely believe that we can do that here on PEM. and final question what simple easy step will you take in the next 24 hours to move that forward mm. i don't know if it's simple or easy martin but i am so blessed in the work that I do now as a politician, where I have opportunities every day to help people. And sometimes those are big things and sometimes they're very small things, but they all start with making a, a connection with somebody else, somebody who comes to me and, and has a challenge, has an issue, has a concern. And I try every day to be absolutely present with that person. When, when you do that to somebody, it doesn't happen all the time, but they go away with that opportunity to magnify that, for that ripple to spread out. And, and I think we don't have enough, we have all kinds of opportunities, but we do not take them, those opportunities to be absolutely present with somebody, to be peaceful, to be unhurried, to, be, to listen to them in the, in the truest, deepest sense. And that's what I'm gonna to do tomorrow as I did yesterday and the day before. I never know when it's going to happen or who it's going to happen with, but I, make it, I, I try and do that at all times. It's difficult. It's hard work. Um, but that, to me, is the essence of what creating heaven on earth requires. Thank you, and thank you for being uh, an agent of making our province Canada's first heaven on earth province. Thank you for the opportunity to chat. I loved it. Hi everybody, Martin Root with Project Heaven on Earth and I'm here with James Aylward, the leader of the Progressive Conservative Party of Prince Edward Island. James, I'm happy to give you my, my new book, Project Heaven on Earth. Thank you very much, Martin. It's certainly an honor to receive this. Thank you. Let's um, go through some questions I have for you about Heaven on Earth. Certainly. What's a place that re represents Heaven on Earth for you on PEI? 
Well, uh, heaven and earth on PEI to me is, is somewhat of a complex question, uh, multifaceted. Um, I lived off island for a number of years and, and I fondly remember every year coming home and either coming across the bridge or, or coming across the ferry and when the red cliffs uh, would, would come into view, it would, it would certainly uh, evoke emotion. Uh, but then to travel down a, a red dirt road to our cottage in Disable, that was really probably my true heaven on earth. Very good. Recall a time when you experienced heaven on earth. What was happening for you? Oh, uh, without a doubt, I would have to say um, it was when my, my son Connor was born. Uh, he was actually born in Calgary, and again, that's when I was living off island. Uh, my wife and I had, uh, had, had been trying for uh, quite a few years to, to have a child, and uh, when, when Connor came into the world and he was handed to me, um, I couldn't think of a more precious, awe-inspiring place to be, to have my son in my arms. I get that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, your eyes are a little watery, mine yeah. are too. Yeah. Um, second question, here's a magic wand, sure. and with it you can have heaven on earth for our world. What's heaven on earth for our world? Oh, well, uh, to take that magic wand and, and just to, to move it around uh, and, and, and to have everyone on, on, on this earth look at everybody the same. That there's no differences, there's no colors, there's no um, wealth, there's no... Um, Poverty, everyone is equal, the same, on a level playing field. Very clear. Using the same magic wand, what's heaven on earth for Prince Edward Island? Well, again, heaven on earth uh, to me here in Prince Edward Island, and, and again, I've been elected now to the provincial legislature for, for seven years. And uh, you, you, as you reach out to people and, and people reach out to you, and you start to hear some of the stories and some of the sacrifices that people have had to make, um, Heaven and Earth, again, to me, here on PEI, would mean that uh, we, we wouldn't have issues with health care, we wouldn't have issues of high, high incident rates of cancer, or we wouldn't have issues with, um, with, with food insecurity and, 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 and domestic abuse and, and violence here on PEI. Uh, Heaven and Earth, to me, uh, simply would be an island where it's harmonious, everyone gets along and is there to help one another. Very clear, James. And final question, what will you do, simple, easy, concrete, in the next 24 hours to move that forward? Well, in the next 24 hours, I will continue to, to, uh, to do what I was brought up to do by my parents. Um, I felt that I, I was given a very solid upbringing. Um, I, I have care, compassion for my, for my fellow islanders, uh, human beings uh, in general. Um, and I, I will lead by example, by, by most importantly listening to people and, and, and trying to resolve the situations that we face here at PEI uh, to make uh, life better for all. Very clear. Thank you so much for your time and thanks for yeah, helping pleasure. to make PEI Canada's first Heaven on Earth province. Thank you, Martin. Thank you. Hi everyone, it's Martin Root founder of Project Heaven on Earth, and I'm with Premier Wade McLaughlin, the Premier of Prince Edward Island, and the leader of the Liberal Party. Thank you, Wade, for doing this. Thank you, Martin, for doing it. I'm glad, to, to, I'm glad that you come in. Thank you. Let me present you, first of all, with my new book, Project Heaven on Earth. Thank you very much, and congratulations Thank on that. Thank you so much. A couple of questions, if I may. Where is a time or a place that you experienced Heaven on Earth? It may sound like a cop-out to say all my life, but I was a, born a baby boomer in kind of a Prince Edward Island uh, coming along in a time of real growth. And I have here a photo that shows this, and this is me with my grandmother. And if you don't believe I was a baby boomer, she had 57 <laughs> grandchildren. And uh, she held us all and looked after us. And this, actually, this photo would be taken uh, in an apartment above a rural a country store, a general store, that my mother and father had. I was the third to arrive. And um, that's the way life started out, as you can see. Uh, I was happy. Uh, and uh, happy and have a sense of place and family. And uh, that, to me, is, is heaven on earth, and it continues. Very good. And you also brought in something today that's something else that represents heaven on earth for you. Yeah, and it's throughout my life I've enjoyed 
Prince Edward Island and the ways we can express ourselves or see what's in plain sight around us. I, I thought about answering your first question by saying to dig a bucket of clams, which continues to be one of my great joys in life. This is an interpretation of the PEI floral emblem, the lady slipper. Uh, and it was done by a woman who was a great friend of ours in the community. She's not living now. She'd be well over 100 if she were living, Dor Dorothy McClure, who was a longtime school teacher. And for decades, even into her 90s, she would uh, put her handwork into the provincial uh, exhibition, the Women's Institute uh, exhibit. And uh, in the 1970s, she, she won top prize, not surprisingly for this, which is a very sophisticated piece of work to take the lady's slipper and hook it through the traditional rug hooking, and she actually designed this as well. It's beautiful. Uh, a question. Imagine you have a magic wand, and with it you can have heaven on earth for our world. What's uh -huh. heaven on earth for you? Well, you know, I have it in this uh, photo. You'll see that rattle, right? I, so I came, I started out early. <laughs> with a magic wand, and it is to be happy in the moment, to uh, have people around us uh, who love us and who uh, value uh, our place and our community in the same way um, that I do, certainly, and that uh, I continue to promote and to look for opportunities to make the most of uh, in my role as Premier. So that, I would say today, I'm still in heaven on earth in my, in my current role. And I'll give you a more precise example, and I lived it yesterday. Uh, annually, I get to present the, what is called the Council of the Federation Literacy Award. And this is for adult learning, and it generally to someone who's come, on, who's come through some challenges, who uh, by definition uh, didn't go through school on a, a straight path. Uh, and uh, yesterday, the recipient was a, a young man in his 20s, Alex Watts, who. Uh, dropped out of school, came back uh, through his own resilience and support from teachers and family, but ultimately his own kind of strength. And uh, he's now in the legal administration program at Holland College, and he told his story in the most compelling and uplifting terms that many of us were, were, were not dry-eyed uh, as he stepped up to the microphone and did this. Uh, including his mother, uh, and that to me is, is heaven on earth, to see people take their lives, to be resilient, to f find their place and their happiness, and to move ahead and achieve. And similar question, again with the magic wand, what's heaven on earth for Prince Edward Island? It's what I said about Alex Watts uh, times 153,000 of all ages, um, and I, I, was, I did intentionally went back to when I was probably seven months old. Um, it starts early. In fact, it's really important to start early. Uh, our province uh, has the highest rating among the provinces in Canada for our policies and resources for early learning, and I, I'm a very strong believer in the importance of starting early right through the, the age span with all of the changes and um, sideways pushes and opportunities to see new things around us. Uh, that's what I believe is, is heaven on earth on Prince Edward Island. And in fact, I think it's that sense of community uh, and our, the way in which we value it, have an identity, are grateful for it, find ways to support each other and have each other's back, that is the real strength of Prince Edward Island. So to me, we have it, we, we have to keep working for it and taking it and making the most of it and, and that's what I, I love to be part of. And final question, what will you do in the next 24 hours? Simple, easy, concrete step in the next 24 hours to move that forward. Well, I don't know if I will be able to pull this off, but I was out yesterday looking for a late-blooming lupin. Um, Which is a flower. I'm it's a right? flower that blooms uh, generally in the f uh, first of June through, uh, an, in a good year, through several weeks in June. But by now, they're gone. Uh, but they're the resilient ones. 
there are the ones that are the late bloomers. Uh, and when we get the rain that we've had lately and the warmer temperatures, they can bloom in October. And it's often, it's almost by definition, it can't be the one that bloomed in June. It's the one that got kind of left behind, or in fact, it'll be typically a, a lupin that's in a graveled area, or that this kind of had a bent shape that didn't quite make it the first time through, that will bloom in October. So um, I'm going to find one, and I hope it'll be in the next 24 hours. Wait, thank you so very much, and thank you for your part, your contribution to making PEI Canada's first Heaven on Earth province. Thank you, Martin, and for the work that you are doing. This is a great project. Thanks so much, Wade. <laughs> Thanks, everyone.